Okay. Hi guys. Are. <laughs> okay, kasi parang napansin ko hindi ako nagsusuklit. Okay. Hi, welcome to my vlog. It's been a few months again since my last vlog. I'm currently working, but let's still proceed with the vlog. It's gonna be a quick catch up, I think, or maybe not. I took a few screenshots, so I'll do a little bit of Q&A for some who commented questions. I'm hoping I'll be able to answer all of those, but yes. Hello, it's been three months. <laughs> Since my last vlog, I'm gonna stress na yung kamay ko. Oh my gosh. Some of the soft gel nails couldn't keep up with the change of weather because it's already transitioning to winter. So, <laughs> they were literally popping off while I was just walking from the grocery back to my apartment. But, <laughs> I don't know. I find it hilarious. I wanna do this vlog first while the light is still good. Okay, so... I've been busy. I mean, obviously, I did this. I went to the Blackpink concert. <laughs> I went to the Philippines because I had to take care of some paperwork there. And then I went back to Toronto, stayed for a week, and then went to Hamilton to watch Blackpink. It was super busy for the for the past few months. I mean, it's always busy like when you're here and you don't have any relatives to rely on you're always doing the work yourself um, and it's part of the journey which was fine for me here in Moncton it's super quiet so I don't mind being busy I love being busy but yeah I got way too busy to update you guys on the vlogs uh, I know I owe you guys a Crandall vlog instead I'm just gonna do a Q&A on the spot right now not really kind of on the spot, but I just took the screenshots a few minutes ago before I started recording. <laughs> um, so yeah. Wait. I am still super overwhelmed. So, let's start with the Q&A. Michael asked, hi Michael, he was asking, which areas are the best places to live in terms of accessibility to buses? At Champlain Mall and as well as here in downtown, the 1111 Main Street. A lot of buses also stop in 1111, but most, if not all, buses stop in Champlain Mall. And how are your classes in Crandall? My classes last year in Crandall were good i mean i feel like it, it was very practical that's why i liked it and that's the same reason why i chose it there was only one challenge for me i would i have to admit since you're back to being a student you also experience the whole student life from like good to bad you experience everything i had classmates like no offense i had some classmates who are just i mean we know it's like a stepping stone to Canada pathway but there are some people who would what is that term freeloaders there are a lot of freeloaders <laughs> you know just stand up if you think that they're pushing everything on you for for like mature people I think it was super weird you are working with different cultures as well so you also need to consider that in terms of professors, I think they are very lovely. I love Professor Moore. He's, he would invite guest speakers who are like big in the industry, like CEOs or big shots, I would say, in the local industries. So you get to expose yourself with the people who have already experienced the highest and lows in terms of businesses. So it's it's really good insight i feel like and good exposure okay that was a lot <laughs> next hi is your pr done yes my pr is done officially today well not not really done but my pr is approved and i have to have it processed for my pr card so that's the next step next 
from Grace. Hi, Grace. Uh, she says, congratulations, Charmaine. Oh, for the PGWP. Oh, thank you. And then she was asking, did you get a three-year PGWP? I didn't get a PGW, uh, PGWP for three years. I only got for one year. But it depends on the immigration officer because some of my classmates were able to get three years PGWP and some were able to get one year PGWP. I think it's because some immigration officers understand that the organizational management that I took, which was only good for one year, was actually a compressed program. That's why some were able to get three years. But again, it depends on the immigration officer. Um, but it's not bad looking at things now. Even if I got a, a one-year PGWP, my PGWP is expiring on April next year, and it's November this year. <laughs> so it's November, and I still have time for my PR processing. So I feel like it's ample time, even if you get a one-year PGWP. If you're studying in Atlantic, I'm not sure if it's applicable if you study in like the major provinces. Okay. So from John's, how's Crandall University? How many classes are there in one week? Um, yeah, so it depends on the curriculum that you're going to take. And I think also it depends if it's going to be in campus or not, as well as the availability of professors. I'm not sure, but for me, during my time, I only had one subject per month, but it's twice a week. So it worked out for me because I had to concentrate on the subject at hand. I was able to concentrate on the, the term papers and the case studies which was good for me, but now I'm not sure because there are some you need to go to the school for, like to attend the class, and there are more professors now. I'm not sure how they're managing the subjects now, but before it was just one subject per month and then it was twice a week. Yes. From Michael. Hi, Michael. Oh, he was asking how soon can a student here in Moncton apply for PR. It depends on the type of PR that you're applying for. That's why you need to check the website every now and then, especially when you're nearing to apply. Sometimes they change it, sometimes they update it, and sometimes they have new pathways or they remove some pathways. So you need to check every detail of every stream that you can apply for and then take it from there. Next, from Jasper. Hi, Jasper. So she says, hey, what is the part-time scenario and is it safe for girls? So it depends. So it depends because for a mountain scenario, because we are in a bilingual area. And when I say bilingual, it's French and English. Sometimes if it's just English, they don't entertain, but do not fret. What's good for international students is the most typical like grocery or fast food. So they entertain international students for those types. What else? Personally, when I was working part-time, I worked in CDS. They're the company who gives out the free samples in Costco. And which was again super beneficial for me at that time. Because during my time... It was the height of pandemic, and so we weren't allowed to give out samples. It was easier, it was more of word of mouth, and it was more of me trying to draft my term paper. <laughs> but anyway, what else? I have a classmate who worked as a CSR, but again, it's a hit or miss because for customer service representatives, they usually except bilingual again like french and english if you have experience for csr the better what else it's mostly blue collar jobs really don't lose hope there are a lot of jobs here just don't be afraid to explore even if it's not from your industry i work in a banking industry so i'm an investment banker and i'm also a pastry 
chef, but I still chose, I guess, a job that's far from my background. I would say that you shouldn't be picky about it because you're new here. You're still adapting to the environment here. They don't know your capabilities, even if you put it on your resume. So you need to be open-minded about other opportunities. And is it safe for girls? It's safe up to a certain point. There are some people who scared me. There are some being aggressive. But I feel like it's normal wherever you go. There are people like that. I would say just be kind to people and they'll be kind to you. Just be observant with your surroundings. You still need to be careful. I need to share this because I've personally experienced this. But of course, this isn't applicable to everyone, right? Mostly... Locals are nice. At the same time, you experience some kind of racism, but that's normal everywhere. There are also some locals who take advantage of international students. You need to be careful with your actions. Okay. Mitchy said, Hi, Mitchy. Hi, can you share the process about your EEPNP? -E so I'll be sharing them in separate videos just because I was able to film it again once before <laughs> i didn't have time i'm gonna probably separate them in different videos so that you'll you have an idea of the step-by-step -step process that i did it was a lot to take so I, I don't know let's see if i'm gonna split it or not but yes i'll definitely share it i want to encourage people to move here it's so different here even if it's the atlantic even if it's quiet here and me being independent without any relatives so let's say it's lonelier than usual i'm still gonna choose here for sure a hundred percent and of course i there's always time to visit my my family and loved ones but yes canada still i'm sorry <laughs> so yes i'm gonna share pretty soon and then from michael again hi michael <laughs> For international students, what are the prerequisites for one to apply? Oh, so I'll share that on my PNP video. And again, it's going to depend on the type of PNP you applied on that time. But yeah, why not? I'm going to share it for sure. Okay, I think that's all. So that's it. So I hope... I answered the questions and if there are other questions in terms of PNP for Express Entry and for PR, just comment down below. I'll answer them when I make the vlog. Again, I'll be busy for the next two weeks. I have a surprise for my mom that I'm planning. I, I need to go to the Philippine Embassy as well, so I have a lot of paperwork to do. And I also need to do the PR card processing thing. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot again for the next few weeks. So I hope that I'll be able to start the PNP vlog. So that's gonna be definitely the first. Again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do Crandall videos anymore just because I don't think it's feasible anymore. There are changes. So I feel like my experience would be different from what you'll be experiencing but definitely a good good experience in Crandall their staff are very 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 welcoming and just one thing I've been hearing news like from people working here that some Crandall students they're very rude in terms of looking for work because they've already stepped into Canada that they can boss people around. If you have contacts, it's great. But don't expect people to do things for you and be rude about it. You know what I mean? And I think that's not good work ethics uh, or rather proper etiquette when you want to find work. Especially when you need to find work, right? So yeah, just be... Just be eager, humble, and be initiative in terms of like looking for work if you need work. Yeah, that's something to really be alarmed about. I'm embarrassed as an alumni. I, I was never like that. But knowing 
people from the same school are acting like that, it's kind of embarrassing. It's something to take note of. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys learned something, I think. Um, this was super impromptu and super random, but yeah. Again, for any questions, put it on the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Anong ito sa'yo? Sa'yo na ra. Bye-bye. Kay Ken. Bakit ganyan? Why is the lighting like that? That's so creepy.